we have repeatedly said in the previous modules that intonation conveys cultural meaning. They are answered, they are conveyed. Now, what is the relationship between intonation and culture? This would be the focus of this module. As we have already uh, said that, language system provides us resources for performing different functions through language in society. A language system provides us basic patterns of intonation. There is rising tone, falling tone, rising, falling tone, different patterns it provides us. Which pattern is suitable in which context the speaker will choose? What kind of meaning the speaker, cultural meaning the speaker wants to convey surprise, shock, agreement, interest, lack of interest? So, according to that, the pattern would be selected from this range of uh, options provided by the language system. As culture expects different speech styles from men and women, now the choice also involves your gender. And from here onward, we will relate gender with choice of intonation pattern. So one thing is our communicative purpose. What we want to do with intonation. What type of meaning we want to convey through it? This is one thing. Second thing is who we are, men or women, and what society expects, what kind of intonation pattern should we use as men and women? This is the second thing. And it is here that gender is involved. One may think that. The difference in speech habits of women is because of restrictions by male dominance. Now, what is desirable for a woman? Which intonation pattern is not desirable for them? Who decides this? The male dominated society, its norms, its order decides about it. Intonation research shows that this is just one factor. Male domination, this is one factor for determination of intonation pattern. There are cultural factors and intonation is one part of this cultural factor, this group of cultural factors. So, it is not only patriarchy or male domination that decides which intonation pattern is suitable for men and for women. There is a group of cultural factors and one factor from this group is intonation itself. Intonation is part of men's and women's strategies of talking. Definitely, as I said earlier, pronunciation, pronunciation covers all aspects of speech. And intonation is also part of pronunciation. Pronunciation is linked with speech. So, whenever we talk, we will also be careful about our choice of intonation as we are mindful of what words will, uh, will be chosen, what grammar structure will be used. Similarly, we are careful what intonation pattern will be used. So, it is part of strategies of talking. Link between gender and intonation. 
is not straightforward. This link is complicated. Different factors are involved in it. Both sexes, why isn't it straightforward? Why isn't it one to one link? Because there is no clear cut borderline between the choice of introduction pattern. Both sexes pass through the same life histories. They acquire, they may acquire different or similar speech styles and intonation is also part of speech styles. So they both may acquire a common intonation pattern. So how can we say that this is just for men and this is just for women? This is how it becomes something complex. The difference is not created by what is said up to the point of what is said. There is no difference, no gender difference in speech style. Similarly, how it is said, this is also neutral. But how what is said is interpreted, is understood, this is where difference is created. But it is created by how something is said and understood by the hearers. It is here that difference is created. How it is said is intonation and its choice is part of cultural expectations. So we conclude from this introductory talk about the choice of intonation and cultural expectations that speech styles of men and women are the same, but cultural roles demand, cultural expectations demand difference in choice of intonation. So it is something that is externally imposed. This cultural demand also requires choice of different intonation. So it is in this way that intonation is linked with culture and intonation is linked with gender.